There's something about Ventura County that has its own charm. It doesn't pretend to be a Los Angeles County. It doesn't pretend to be a Santa Barbara County. I think it has its own unique personality, and, and I wouldn't want to live anyplace else. The concept of a community foundation is, is that you acquire as many assets as you can put in the bank, so to speak, which is called the corpus, and then the income that flows from those assets will spread out to the various parts of the county. to cover all kinds of services, you know, from healthcare to the performing arts, uh, it, it, museums, all types of worthy causes. The heart of a community foundation is the promise we make to donors to protect their intent, to help nonprofits, to be part of the community and to look out for the community. I became a founder of the Community Foundation because I love Ventura County. I identify with it, I grew up here. And the foundation is a way of preserving that identity for meeting the needs of the future as well as the present. As the county grows, the foundation grows and it can redefine its goals as the county's needs change. Oh, the foundation is vital to the well-being of our community. We are, in effect, the community. We're the bridge to better things. Emerging as an idea from the local United Way, the Community Foundation has grown over the last 25 years to be a unique partner in this region. We focus on stewarding legacies, on training nonprofit leadership, and investing in the future. The BCCF Nonprofit Center is a beautiful place. It's a place of convening, collaborating, and empowering the community. Our new home creates an opportunity for all of us to work together to make our community a stronger community for everyone. The opening of the wonderful new nonprofit center and the 25th anniversary provide a new era for the Center for Nonprofit Leadership to engage, learn, and transform the community to make it a better place for everybody. We are particularly grateful to our founders whose dedication and foresight have made this day possible. Working together has a new home. Each year, almost 2,000 people cross our doors. These people are nonprofit CEOs. They're the line staff who are implementing important programming serving our community. They can come here and request of us the support that they need to achieve their important missions. I remember the first time that I walked through the doors of VCCF and I was really anxious that they wouldn't totally understand our vision. My greatest honor of serving in this capacity is um, watching the light bulb go off over a CEO's head. But it was very clear to me right from the first five minutes that they wanted to support us in growing our organization in healthy ways. So a lot of what we do at Kids and Families Together is helping caregivers to understand what it means to be a therapeutic parent so that children will get the support that they need, the caregivers get the support that they need so that the families are strengthened and the relationships are much stronger with one another. Engage, learn, and transform. Any kind of nonprofit out in the community uses VCCF's Resource Center. It's not only what happens here that's important, it's really what happens after people come here and take what they learn here back and use it that changes the community. Kent Weigel was, um, above and beyond all, an educator. Kent was my business partner in Ventura Bookstore, which was located downtown Ventura for 22 years. He's also my life partner for 23 years. The loss of my partner was huge. The economy was horrible. Ventura Bookstore was suffering, was collapsing, and I was working at a high table of contents, barely making enough to survive. Then I found out about Ventura County Community Foundation's Roy A. Gustafson Scholarship, received a very, very generous award that paid most of my tuition for the year, allowed me to finish my degree in a shortened period of time, took the bar exam, passed the exam and allowed me to walk away from a life-changing event. When Kent died and people came to me and they said, we need to do something to commemorate Kent's life. And I thought, what could be the one thing that I could do that would honor Kent's life and pass on his message? 
and pass on his gift and have education, Ventura County Community Foundation. Why not create a scholarship? Every year his name shows up on a list. It's a way of keeping his name and his memory alive for people who grew up here. People who never knew him are kind of curious to say, well, who is Kent Weichel? Thank you, Ed Elrod, and the hundreds of donors who have started scholarship funds at BCCF as legacies. And my mantra is it's about the kids. It's about an opportunity to make sure that these students get an opportunity to apply and to, um, to be able to receive scholarships to help them with their education. When Emily started, she applied for a scholarship to become a beautician. She was granted a scholarship and went to Lou Ross. Hi, my name is Emily Christensen, and I am from Oxnard, California. I now live in Santa Monica, California, working as a hair and makeup artist in the film industry. I didn't come from a family that had everything. I started working the day I could, the day I turned 16. I, believe it or not, worked at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> she had a game plan, a dream, and a goal, and she kept on that track and was granted a scholarship to UCLA to study international business was so excited about getting that scholarship. It really felt something like, you know, w winning the lottery, per se. Ventura County Community Foundation gave me the key for success in the real world. She was so excited about it, she would give us all a, a haircut. She'd do our hair, which uh, um, wouldn't have taken her long for me. Uh. Ted Jensen, are you ready for your haircut? I had the privilege of presenting Dorina the scholarship award that helped change her life. My name is Dorina Padilla, uh, born and raised in Oxnard. Um, oh my goodness, when I learned that I had won that scholarship, I was just ecstatic. I went off to UCLA, did my undergraduate studies, and now I'm lucky to say that I am the newest council member for the city of Oxnard. In addition to that, I also work for the Upward Bound program. It's a federally funded program meant and designed to get first-generation low-income students into college. We provide students with a pathway to accomplish their dreams. And that's what I do on an everyday basis, and I do it because to repay all those other individuals and organizations within my community that help me become successful and play it forward and help students and individuals the same way that they help me. When we were starting the Community Foundation, people would talk about, well, I'm not rich enough to work with the Community Foundation. I don't have enough resources to be one of your donors. And we realized that most community foundations that are successful open their arms to everyone and create a way for everyone to be involved in building a stronger community. When young people who care about the community come together at the BCCF Nonprofit Center, amazing things can happen. Hi, my name is Eric Gillette. I'm Wendy Gillette. And we started the Lake Casitas Rowing Association. What we do with the rowing team is a passion for us. It's something we've always wanted to do. And the BCCF has really enabled us to give us the skills that we needed to spread that out in the community. Rowing itself is, is the greatest team sport. You're in a boat where you are obligated to work well with the other people that are, that are with you, to get along, to be a, a part of a micro community. I think that's when we took that board leadership class, I think that was a big part of what we learned is that you have to assemble the team. If the team is not in place, if everyone is not working together, that boat is going nowhere. So in order for a boat to go forward, in order for a boat to win, cross the finish line, everyone has to be doing the same thing all together as a team. It is an environment where kids have to be striving to be their best. The kids are why we do it. The moment we get out there and we see what they can do and what they're capable of, but most importantly, when they see what they are capable of, I think for me that's probably the best moment of my day. The greatest thing is seeing the transformation that happens. Carry on, carry on.
it makes us so proud and, and that is a lot of what drives the passion for us is seeing the, the evolution, seeing the growth and seeing them go from young men and women to young adults. Thank, Thank you, Center, Center for Nonprofit, nonprofit leadership. leadership. I grew up with the tradition, the expectation that I would give back to the community. That was just part of the fabric of who we were, of who everyone was in that generation. It was simply what you did, you helped. It's the institutions that end up expanding on what the individuals can do. It's the United Ways and then later the Community Foundation that become such an important funding and supportive source for the community. The opportunity that we provide here is one that is unique. It gives you the security, it gives you the opportunity, it gives you the knowledge that what you are doing is not only for yourself, but the future generations. The Martin V. and Martha K. Smith Foundation is an important part of the VCCF story. Bud Smith was a founding member of VCCF's board, and his life's work is seen all over Ventura County. My grandfather would be proud to know that people can uh, still thrive on, on his, his developments today. Ventura County is a very special place when we all work together. Ventura County Community Foundation is and will be forever the coming together for a commitment for the long-term betterment of our entire community for good. We want to thank the thousands of individuals whose contributions have made community philanthropy in Ventura County possible. As we celebrate our 25th anniversary, there's a lot that we are very proud of. And as we look toward the future, we're sure of one thing only. We can't do this alone. Everyone has a role to play. Whether you want to make a modest gift to one of our initiatives to help veterans, to help women, whether you want to establish your own fund, create your own legacy, the unique power of a community foundation is that everyone in the community can get together, raise capital, and make a difference we can shape the future of Ventura County. Please join us. For good forever. 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 the Ventura County Community Foundation, investing together for good forever.